Hello again. It's been another bitterly cold start to the day and it is going to remain cold as we go through the next few days. In fact, it's not really until we get towards the end of the week we see a change. And that's represented here by our air mass chart. The blues are very much across us by day and by night through Wednesday and also Thursday. On Friday, we start to see a bit of a change coming in from the Atlantic. The milder yellows coming our way or less cold. And they'll be with us as we head into the weekend. But so will some rain at the weekend and some strong winds. Now, we still have some snow showers. Some of them merging across northern Scotland gives some heavier snow. This morning snow changing back to rain across northern Ireland. And we still have some snow pushing steadily eastwards into northeast England could be disruptive over the Pennines. Further south, it's dry, but it's cold and it's cold or even colder in the north. As we head through the evening and overnight, this band of rain, sleet and snow pushes a bit further south. The snow in northern Scotland sinks southwards as well into northern England and fizzles. Further snow showers come into the north and the west, but there'll be a lot of clear skies. And under those clear skies, you can expect a severe hard frost. In fact, where we've got lying snow in parts of Scotland, temperatures could fall away to minus 10. Now, this particular system here has been giving us a headache the last few days. It's been further north affecting parts of southern England, but now it looks like it's going to stay further south. So it's the Channel Islands that will see some rain during Wednesday, possibly a wintry mix in there. But for the bulk of the UK, it's going to be a dry day, but still some snow showers in the north and also parts of the west. And it's going to be another cold day as well. Temperatures peaking at freezing in Aberdeen, but five in Plymouth and also St Helier. As we head on into Thursday, a lot of dry weather around, a ridge of high pressure starts to build in, but we still have some snow showers in the north and also the west. And it's still going to be a cold day. Temperatures one degree at best in Aberdeen, three as we push down south into Birmingham. And then as we head on from Thursday and into the weekend, you can see how this high pressure is with us. It pushes eastwards, allowing these Atlantic fronts to come our way, introducing some thicker cloud and also some rain and some windy conditions. The wind could well be a feature of the weather. Still a little bit of doubt about that, something I'll keep you up to date with, but it's turning less cold.